Mr. Jimmy Hill? Yes? Here. Oh, flowers. How yeah. nice. They always give me a little bit of a lift, you know, mentally, not not physically, you know. Wonder who the ah! Hello. Here. You never guess where I'm going. The Carl Shulton Garden Show with Al Pacino. Oh. Come on now, we'll be late. Yeah, I'll be right there. Hey, Mike, take a picture before we go. Oh, all right then. Yeah, not me, just the tomatoes. Oh, right. How did I look? You weren't in it. The Carl Shulton Garden Show. Boy, it gets me every time. You know, I would give up three Oscars to win the Tom Bartle Award for Best Tomato. Hey, Mike, I think these tomatoes will be safe just resting here in the back seat of this Jaguar. If the car's not bleeding good enough, why didn't you go with Jack? Hey, Jack left a cockroach. He's already there. He's got his stall all laid out with poor balls the size of Zeppelin's. Wait. Don't go without me. You know, Al's such a sap. He said, Marlon, do you want to come along to the Carshalton Garden Show? As if. But then I thought, you know, they got lots of fresh vegetables there. I could graze for a few hours. I told you I wanted to go, you British asshole. Oh, oh, oh Marlon. Uh, Mind the old dirty. Wano! Wano! Roger! Roger! Hello, Jimmy. What's the matter? I'm being followed, stalked, mm -hmm. harassed. Oh, uh, have you caught sight of her? Oh, no, but there's this woman in red. She's wearing mm -hmm. this red coat. Oh, she see. keeps following me. She's watching my every move, really? Roger. It's a bit like that, a bit like that mm -hmm. bloody goblin in that film, Look Now, Please. Uh -huh. you remember with Donald Sunderland mm -hmm. and Julia Crispy? Film? No, I don't remember it. Look, Jimmy, I've got a doubt. I've got to do an in-flight video interview with Philip Schofield oh, for Manx Air. Look, don't worry about it. It'll blow over. Most things usually do. I don't know, I don't know what to do. Go home and drink. Yes. What a lovely day. Isn't life marvellous? for about a year. Bye! <sighs> Must get out. I've got to flee. Get out of the house. <laughs> Pam Slurry! You lying bastard. Uh, uh, what a surprise! <laughs> I've left Grey. Oh, oh, dear, I am sorry. Yes, we've separated. Yes, and I need somewhere to stay. Oh, um, I'm afraid that's just not possible. No, I couldn't get you out of my mind. Every day. It's been like a year. Uh, yes, well, um, you, you remember that time down at Seaforth? <laughs> People have got this misconstrued uh, uh, idea that Pam and I got up to something. Oh, Jackie Milburn. Oh, oh, oh. Hey. 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 Well, I mean, it's your word against mine, isn't it? <laughs> not this time, Jimmy. I'm having your baby. Um, I'm pregnant. Yes, well... Well, why don't you get Grey or one of your other fly nights to look after this thing? I mean, I don't want anything more to do with you. Go on, get out of my life, go on. I'm not leaving the father of my child. Not only is she a slag, but she's a nutter. And a slag and a nutter is a very dangerous combination. If you don't do what I want, I'll kill you. Um, what about a nice bit of Swiss roll and a cup of tea? <laughs> I was thinking of names for baby. Yeah? What about Gantz if it's a boy and Primrose if it's a girl? Oh, yes, if Primrose. Yes. Primrose Hill. Primrose Hill. <laughs> <laughs> Help me do the washing up. Oh, yes, of course. Just like a married couple, we should share all the domestic chores. Now, where are those barricades? Oh, they're in the drawer, there. <laughs> oh, don't seem to be able to find them. Oh, 
Oh, Jimmy, look at the garden. It's big enough for a bouncy castle for Primrose and all our friends. And, of course, we must choose a colour for her bedroom. And then, of course, there's our bedroom. What about a lovely Elizabethan water bed for... You know what? Now, what a lovely... Oh, Jimmy, you're all right. Yeah, it was a bloody horsefly. Oh, what a mess. Where's the Hoover? In the cellar. Now, uh, let's see. Oh, it's very dark in here, isn't it? The first light switch. Oh, it's back here. Jimmy, are you all right? No, uh, I tell you what. I'm going to pop out to do some shopping. And if I've got time, I'll drop in somewhere doctorish looking. He couldn't stop her because she locked him up. And rightly so. He was in the curl hell. She's a bloody lunatic, that woman. Mind you, he had it coming. He should have kept it zipped up. And he, now he's, he's got all this trouble. She's made his life more of a misery than it already is. I've been entombed for eternity. I won't be found for eons. I'll be Stella Man. A coal shoot. Help, somebody! I'm hurt bad! The Carl Shorten Garden Show was probably one of the most boring things that I've ever done in my life. You can see it now. It was a thing. Yeah. How come you won the best tomato award? Especially after they'd been pureed under Marlon Zaris. Oh, I got lucky. I was desperate. So I went down to Crosscutters in Boston Manor. Picked me up a six-pack of fine tomatoes. You can shove your award up your ass. If I hadn't gone to Crosscutters in Boston Manor, Jack Nicholson would have walked away with that book token. I wasn't going to let that happen. And the name of the card is Hill. J. Hill. Thank you. Bye. Jimmy, Hammy's home. The queues were dreadful. It's a shame you can't see the lovely car I bought with our money, a beautiful red Porsche. Oh, there's still 90 pounds left on our credit card. Enough to buy two bottles of Dom Perignon. That should help me make it through the night. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, you. Yes, I've moved back. No, Jimmy's gone away. Bye. Oh, I'm like a lame bird. Roger, 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 you got to help me. Michael, 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 help me, please. There's not enough football matches in the world for me to commentate on to pay for that lot. 1966, 4-2. <sighs> 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 well, I suppose I could always get a job in the black and white minstrel show. Ooh. If it comes back. Well, which it probably will. But I've all got ideas, really, isn't it? Oh, 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 what a terrible nightmare. Oh, thank God that wasn't real. My little popsicle had a bad dream. Ah! Ah! And more from Stella Street on Sunday at 10 to 10 here on BBC Two.